You got a story about Union. You, didn't you drive up to Union Oil Dock one one day? I've driven up there a lot. <laughs> and and then wasn't there something that there was a somebody hiding in the bushes, a justice of the peace? And didn't you I slam on the brakes? I remember that. You remember that story? No. Okay. I thought I remember something about a. You, you went to the Union Oil Dock and you picked up a load and then you drove by and then a car followed you with its lights off and then you hit the brakes or something. But well, oh well. I can't remember. So many odd things happened. Yeah. There. Can you think of any fun stories that were? From the old days, like going down to Nally Valley? With... I have a lot of them. But oh, I... go ahead and talk I, about it. I Tell don't it. know if I can even remember them now. Okay. <laughs> you, met, you, know, you you used to unload pickles down in Nally Valley, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I did a lot of stuff for Nally Valley. Yeah, yeah. and you, you, you drove heavy duty, too. Was, wasn't that your classification? Yeah, they considered me a heavy duty driver. Yeah. And and that, now, did you ever meet J Jimmy Hoffa Sr., the president of the Teamsters? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Came to Seattle? Yeah. And what did you think of that? What was that like? Well, I was kind of suspicious of him first. <laughs> Were you? Yeah. Yeah. Did he have some? Did he have some guys with Al Capone hats, kind of yeah, gangster-looking guys with he's, him? He's like a crook. <laughs> yeah. He, but you met him in person, though, right? Oh or, yeah. Did you shake his hand? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, he shook mine. I was surprised. <laughs> wow. But see, the Teamsters were real good to you, though, weren't they? Yeah. It was really good to be in the union and yeah, everything. Yeah. Excellent yeah. company. Yeah. And you know they. They quit business. They were second largest in the country, and they they, they quit business, and they um, cleaned out their accounts and everything. Yeah. And and they're still r rich. Oh sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's how come I'm getting checks now from. Uh, their that non-union drivers would never have. Yeah. Yeah, you're awful lucky, really. You yeah. had you made you had a good life there, didn't you? Yeah. And that's the reason I'm worried. I never got to tell Eric or my daughter that don't eat any of those tickets, or they're going to cancel it. <laughs> right. So now, did did you, did you ever do any hostling in the yard at, at all? Or? Well, I've done some hostling. Yeah. Little little bit, yeah. That was a busy place at one time, wasn't it? Yeah. Really busy. Now, that I'm the only one in the company that could uh, was drive those and. Hook, hook them up and back them up into a dock. Back up a set of doubles. Into a dock. Wow. And um, the company, uh, it was others trying to copy me. Yeah. And damaging the trailers. Oh, geez. So they, they canceled it. Canceled that. Don't, don't. Uh, Made a policy you can't do that anymore? Yeah, you know, and I was doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Because I, I never damaged, never damaged one backing it up. And you never had an accident during the whole time. Never about, a chargeable about, accident. About three million miles. Wow. And and you had a lot of buddies that worked there over the years, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, and I guess they're all gone now. Well, I don't know. Uh, I had a high school buddy. He's in Hawaii, and he went into the. He was into the Coast Guard, and then the war started. Hmm. Yeah. Then he, he transfer wanted him to get in service, and uh, he was in Hawaii then, and so he had a state station there when he was in the Coast Guard, taking care of people around Hawaii, and hmm. and they um, he, he uh, they wanted him in the Navy, and hmm. <laughs> had wow. to have him. That was when the war was going good then. Oh yeah. And so he he uh, changed over from the Coast Guard into the Navy. So he's working sa same spot in Hawaii where oh uh, they, they kept him there okay but he was he was in the navy and, wow and people were coming in there in boats and stuff navy re people oh yeah and he was kind of supervising them and everything oh yeah. so now when when you were when you would start your day at CF they were pretty in there was a policy that you would inspect your truck, wasn't it? You'd thump the tires. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you they, didn't do that every morning. They were real particular about that, weren't yeah, they? Yeah. Check the turn signals, make everything's yeah. everything's tied down, everything's ship ship shape. Yeah. yeah. And 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 a lot of stuff was hand unloaded back then. You didn't get a lot of uh, forklift help, did you? Right. <laughs> you worked damn hard in your day, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I, I, I'm tall like him. Yeah. And I could do a lot of work that. Some, Average person like you. Oh, well, I'd be hard. Can't do. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> and you never complained about any of it, did you? No. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't think they make guys like you anymore. <laughs> that's that's pretty good, Forrest. Good for you. Much respect. I'll turn this off for just a sec.